Hello guys, welcome back to part 6, I think. We're only on part 6? Shit. I haven't recorded in a long time. I apologize for that. Um, just kind of... If I don't feel it, I don't want to record. Um, I got kind of down because not many people watch these. But, I mean, that one person... <laughs> Yeah, you right there. I got you, homie. You know I'm looking out for you. And I do genuinely enjoy this. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. <laughs> that was really weird line delivery. Too bony. Too damn bony. My soul shudders would have seen, but whatever. The journal entries in this game sound more like Lovecraftian than um, in the previous one. I don't really mean that as a compliment. Like, I guess this is his time period. It was the 1890, but I mean. Let a breeze in. Okay. I forgot there's no uh, exploring in this game. Ooh, a thing. These men, Professor, these so called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Hmm. Piggies. What's this? Piston rooms. Holy shit, that's dark. It's like the storage room in a, a dark descent. Can't catch me, Mr. Piggy Man. I know what you're about. I know the shit you got planned. Oh! Oh ho ho! The great pistons. That, um, if you couldn't tell, that, uh, frightened me a bit. Just a bit. Um. Mr. Piggy Man. Sorry to bother you. I don't know if any of you guys live in Michigan who watch these. But there's this place called the uh, Greenfield Village and Henry Ford Museum. Um, and these pistons, they have stuff like that there. And it's pretty cool. Like, they try and like have all the uh, different tractors and stuff from all the ages. Okay. We made it out. Is 
Is that the, uh... Oh. You know, I don't know about you guys, but under the pistons is the last place I'd like to go. Hmm. Protection. Can I just leave? Oh, I have to find my kids who are already dead. I'm sure it's just machinery. Just the machines. At least the first one had like... Alexander be some weird, like, being from another dimension. This one, I'm just some greedy businessman. This is gonna close behind me. A puzzle! Does that mean I'm safe? I don't feel very safe. Hmm. Me breathing hard. Okay. Okay. Little valves. So I have to do something. Can pick that up, so that's useful. That's coal. I have to do something to get this open. Right? The pistons are sound, the plants I rest, I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way. I fear the scale of these engines suggest a far greater work than is visible from the surface, so my friend must be correct, and the large part of this plant is underground. We are close to- this is your plant, isn't it? Sir? Eat? Is that good? Is that enough? I don't know. I'm guessing these have to be a certain number. Okay, back to the piston control room. Ah! Okay. Okay, so six is non, two is non, four is on. Do I just need to turn them all on? No, no, no. Are your furnaces filled? No, I'm sorry. Bloop. Bloop. That it? Boop. That thing did not like that. I feel like most of the games, like, don't want to jump scare you for just no reason. I feel like this one, they, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll do that. 
This one seems like it's more for the scares than like a story. Well, the Dark Descent seemed like it scared you for the story. Oh, Piggy Head. Um, like the only real jump scare that was kind of dickish I remember from the first one was um, the uh, Iron Maiden. It was just a, a random screaming sound. Scary noise. Very scary. The fire is stoked, assuming the Arctic is responsible here is a chemical fire, so just the central control of the fire. So there should be some minor finding out what's the dark. Okay. The door behind me is sealed. So I should be safe. Click. Click. Seems like a Michael Bay movie, what the fuck? Oh god. Is it gonna come after me? It's all the biggie. God, so loud. Oh well, yeah, I guess. This is kind of what it sounds like to be in an engine. Okay. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Oh. Oh. Where is the saboteur? Bitch. That scared me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I might say this is scarier than the first one. I might give it that. The first one seemed like it was scary for a purpose, not like... Not like just scary to be scary. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think it would be right there. What the fuck? Sounds like he's over there now. If I can hear anything over these pistons. He's pitting. God. I see him right there. I can barely see, so I don't know if you can see at all. I hope he didn't see my light and then, like, know where I am. He's 
right there, I think. I can barely see right now. Oh, there he goes. I can see him in the light. It's like some stupid... Is that the saboteur? I don't have to worry about my sanity draining. I'm guessing light attracts them, but I don't... They made it so dark. Yeah, it's a horror game, but... There's a good and bad way to do it. If I can't see the horror, I can't, I can't be scared by it. I think the loudness is also supposed to disorient you and go like, Ooh, he's an enemy. Where is he? It, it worked a little at first. I'll give it that. Like, is he after me right now? Sounds like the game volume got quieter and the music went up. Do you recall the most wonderful reindeer of all? Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it was. I don't know where you are. I can't possibly be afraid of you if I can't see you. Is there a gamma button? Like, I'm not like. I don't want it to go up like really high, but. I just want to be able to, like, see it. I'm back here! What? Piggy, I might want you to fucking kill me so I can know where I'm going. Is this the right way? No, that's where I started. Okay, Piggy. What am I supposed to be doing? Do I mess with this stuff? You're not as scary as you think, Mr. Piggy. You might be more scary if you were, like, attacking me, but... Your AI doesn't seem like it's the best either, Mr. Pig. Star pig. I'll just run past him. You watch this. He'll never know what hit him.
I think he knows what hit him. Oh! Oh! That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> me star pig. You cannot cage me. I do the loop de loop. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. <gasps> A thing. Whee! A journal. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. The brother, dude, they're, they're dead. And I am done for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this part six. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and check out some of the other parts, because there's only five other parts right now, so you could easily, easily catch up. Alright guys, I will check you in the next one. Peace.